thought just occurred to me, and I don't know if you guys and MGTOW have ever experienced this, but have you ever noticed like when you're around a, a woman that's truly feminine in, in her behavior and her mannerism in every almost every aspect of her life has this exudes femininity? Have you ever noticed that you do things to provide and protect for that woman without even thinking about it? We're so hardwired to provide and protect. When you encounter femininity, true femininity, it draws us to that person and we want to provide and protect. Um, I got an epiph epiphany a little bit. Um, you know, I've heard of provide and protect. And I know mm -hmm. it's in our nature to do things like that. But the, the epiphany really hit me with um, an alarm system that I was installing. Um, Years ago when I bought this house, I had an alarm system because I was in a relationship with a woman. She wanted an alarm system. So we installed one. She left. The, the system fell apart. I never bothered with it for about 10 years. And recently, um, well, about a year ago, I bought some cameras and you could that send notifications to your phone and you could view over the internet and stuff. Um, because I had an older young lady staying with me she was like 18 years old 19 years old at the time and you know I felt the need to she's kind of feminine kind of more introverted but you know feminine in most ways uh, not, not argumentative and things like that and I bought a camera to set that up not thinking as to any reason why and as a, then she moved out so the camera is starting up were programmed for my network but they sat in a box for about a year and about then some recently my cousin who's around the same age came to live with me and you know she exudes femininity like true femininity in everything like she came in she took care of the house she took care of me she took care of cooking making sure the kids in my care had food and you know cleaning keeping the place tidy uh, checking to make sure I was all right, things like that. And she happened to mention that she was scared in the house, you know, kind of jumpy because it's such a big house and sometimes she's here alone. And without thinking, that same night I bought the Yolink system. I knew about it because I'd done research on it, but I've never really jumped the gun to buy it. That same night, I, without thinking, I bought that system set it up when it arrived and within two weeks i dust out the old cameras put put most of them up and i was test testing the systems out and during the testing process i i didn't even think why i was doing this i know she was scared of, and i was doing it but it's just recently i realized i was doing those things because i not for me but i was tr i was protecting her um, because I have valuable things in the house, but I never installed or protect me or the things in my house. For some reason, that wasn't as important as protecting her. So, just recently, I, I was sitting down here looking at some of the, the other the excess devices I still need to install that I've lost all desire to continue installing them because my cousin has since moved out. She's doing well on her own. So, I have no real person mm -hmm. here or feminine person to provide and protect for except my, myself and I really don't need protecting uh, at least in my mind <laughs> so fellas think about that have you ever really thought about that you know you have women around you and you just like exudes femininity and you kind of just go into beast mode you know just pure instinct something is triggered in within you to provide and protect and you're doing everything within your ability to do that uh, especially if the woman appreciates it I mean that's like a that's a big boost of enthusiasm that allows you to just push forward um, and then when that person is no longer in your life do you do you really feel or other women come into your life do you feel ah not really feel like providing protecting for this person um, have you ever thought about that especially uh, you make tell fellas ladies you can learn from this too because I figure I've you know, it had me thinking, damn, I was providing protecting without even thinking for my cousin. 
And she's my cousin. It is not, you know, it's not like a significant other or a wife, nothing like that. But she exuded so much femininity. It's like, damn, did I really do that? <laughs> and without thought. And the reality is men provide and protect. It's hardwired within us to do. And we will do that without thinking. And we will find the best possible way to do it without looking for anything in return. So, um, if you guys have any questions, like, subscribe, ask those questions in the comment section down below. Put your own comments down there. Let me hear what you all have to think, think about that. Um, you guys in MGTOW, you know, especially, let me know what you all think. I mean, I mean, the ones who have gone way on the extreme and you're more spiritual, more power to you. I wish I could be more like you guys. Because that, that comes with a significant amount of peace. I've experienced stuff like that myself. But, you know, I'm still one of those hopefuls that will find a person that will be in sync with me. The way I can be a man and she can be feminine and be a true woman. And really bring some f level of synchronicity with myself. Um, ladies, if you're watching this, you know, make a comment. See what you think about all that. Y'all have a good day.